me, 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 me. Do you watch prank videos? Do you watch prank videos? Do you watch prank videos? The answer is no. The only people who watch prank videos are people like this, or this, or this. But apparently a lot of those people exist because there are creators out there who are making a living off of it. And I use that term creator very loosely. There's very little creativity that goes into any of these videos. Now, one of my personal favorite pranksters, one, one, one of my favorite little, little goofballs of this day and age has to be KJ Smooth. I'm obviously a dumbass. Now, some of you may know who this guy is. He's popped up on my TikTok before. He's probably popped up on yours. He has around 2.5 million followers on there. So he's doing, he's doing pretty 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 dang well for himself so i gotta give him credit the kid knows how to get an audience he knows how to gain followers but remember everyone even hitler had his followers oh. now did i just compare kj smooth to hitler yes i did well i apologize for it uh no i will not don't take offense to it kj smooth these are just jokes if you see this video it's it's all in good fun mostly. But today I don't really want to look at his TikTok. I more want to look at his YouTube channel because he's been posting quite a bit on his YouTube channel recently. I think because TikTok has been taking a lot of his videos down because he's kind of just not a good person. Just sneezed off. And his videos are, uh, there's something to behold. So I'm going to pull up one of my personal favorites of his and we're just gonna watch it together and see what a funny lad this fella is. Look guys, I'm not trying to be a dickhead or anything and like take off, I'm purposely, when I get in the mall, I can't take off the helmet, especially if I'm around kids. I know if I was a dad, I'd be like, I'm gonna beat this dude's ass. Like he literally is crushing my, ch my children's dreams. Hopefully we run into a mad dad. Yeah, we're just gonna pretend that we're the Easter Bunny, you know? I mean, what, 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 what could happen? I mean, hopefully, hopefully we can, get a dad mad but i i don't i don't want to do that i, I don't i don't want to like crush a kid's dreams but i mean hopefully there's you know a couple people here and there that are pissed off at me bro because i mean <laughs> that's what it's all about so two security guards come up and try to talk to them to which they respond by walking past and not acknowledging them at all because they're just that damn cool we're fucking ballers bro so kj being the wascally wabbit he is tells them he's just there to take pictures He's the mall bunny rabbit. To which the security guard reminds him that there's already a guy over there taking pictures. To which KJ so wittingly responds with, Oh, horse shit. That can, that, we're gonna go tell him. All right, man, they're telling us that we need to tell you to leave. Really? Oh, this is, they're trying to get the Easter bunny to leave. This is another thing that he ends up doing throughout the video that's really weird. He yells at other people about what's going on like they give a shit. He's so fucking full of himself that he thinks that they care. Or he just thinks that it'll make good content and that the more he talks, the funnier it is because I don't I don't even know. I'm just I'm just guessing. I'm trying to I'm trying to get in the mind of KJ here and that's as far as I can get. I'm not even doing anything though. What Okay. Can you guys tell me this? What am I doing wrong? Literally. So then the security guard goes on to tell him that the reason he can't go through the mall with an Easter Bunny costume on is because that they previously had a Santa in there who was giving out candy to little kids and doing some inappropriate stuff to them. Okay, that's weird. That's something I would never do. I know, I'm not seeing you. Oh no, I, I, I would never do that. As if anybody would come clean and just say, oh yeah, that, that's why I'm here. That's actually, uh, that's the exact reason I'm here. So I, I guess I'll go do that somewhere else. There's a reason these rules are put in place. It's not like you're a fucking victim. Here, come here, come here, look. I'll slide you guys a couple hundred dollars each. Not gonna happen. Come on, I can't do that. An eighth? Come on. How about an eighth? No. You guys don't smoke? <laughs> Damn, these are these are real knee slappers. These are some funny jokes, bro. I don't know how you come up with them on the fly. You telling me that you just come up with these these witty witty little one-liners? The man. And then I'm gonna call PD. PD? Yeah. Penis department? Or police department? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? He literally just told you. He he actually just told you. Like not even a minute ago. He told you. Are you this fucking stupid? Look at me in my eyes. I can't go Man, I, I didn't look at me you wanna, you look at me in my eyes. Imagine you go to work, you know, you're having a shitty day and you still have to work your fucking nine to five job. Every day you're dealing with people, annoying Karen's Cocky Chads. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Dumb Kyles. I'm Kendall Rick! What the love dumb dumb? I'm Kendall Rick! And then you have KJ here, who's just his own special breed. Is Apple Pay with phone? It's not with actual apples? This right here is why customer service workers need to be paid more for having to deal with people like this. Have you guys seen Mall Cop? Kevin James. I'm not gonna ask you. 
Are you Kevin James? How funny. What a, what a, what a comedian. What a, what a funny dude. They're kicking the Easter Bunny out. Get this. Huh? Nobody gives a fuck. I feel like you just make yourself look worse when you bring attention to it from people. They're kicking the Easter Bunny out. Get that. Like, what do you think people are thinking when they see the Easter Bunny getting kicked out? It's probably that you did something terrible. Why bring attention to it? They're kicking the Easter Bunny out. I get paid $10 an hour for this shit. You know what's funny is that they're actually probably getting paid $10 an hour for this. Like, I know he said that as a joke, but genuinely, that's probably what they're making. You know what's crazy is I'm not even trying to be a dick right now, but these guys are, like, so mean to me. If you guys really know me, my real true fans, you guys know I'm not rude. I'm the probably the nicest guy you guys ever watched, you know what I'm saying? For some reason, all these people want to start shit with me, and I, I don't know why, because, I mean, you guys know me, and I'm so fucking nice. I'm the nicest dude ever. I, I don't know why I get in so much trouble from everybody. I feel like when all of your videos have to do with someone else getting mad at you, you would eventually have to realize that you're the problem. Because I feel like the majority of people really don't want to be angry with you. They don't probably want to be angry with anybody. They just want to go about their day, do their work, eat some food, go home, have some sex, and get to sleep. But then you come in like a fucking disease trying to ruin their entire day. Oh, KJ, KJ, sweet, sweet KJ. So then after promising to leave, he decides to go back into one of the stores where he decides to moan in people's ears uh, uh, uh. and bark at them. Uh. Oh my gosh. Because he's a fucking prankster. <laughs> he's a fucking prankster. I know guys, that, that was that was pretty intense. There were a lot of laughs there, a lot of, a lot of pranks, you know, a little name calling. I don't know why everybody hates this KJ guy when he's, as he said. Probably the nicest guy you guys ever watched, you know what I'm saying? But he also has a video with a Karen. And oh boy, you know me guys, you know Max well. And Maxwell loves him some good Karen. I so in this video, KJ goes golfing, but he and his friend, they don't have balls. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, what? Duh, Max, it's KJ. But I mean, they don't have golf balls. So they go to hole one to ask some people if they can spare some balls. You guys have a ball I can borrow? No. No? They don't. So they go to hole two, somebody gives them a ball. So then they go back to hole one where they are stopped by a Karen because she noticed that they were filming and that they were just driving back and forth. Like, normally when you play golf, you go to one hole, and then you go to the second hole, and then you go to the third hole. Like, they have it in order, but they drove back forth filming, so she stopped them to see what was up, you know? As, as, you, as you would normally do, and she tells them that they can't film without written permission. But then KJ, being the witty man that he is, responds, I'm actually the county beauty of Sacramento. Do I still need permission? You're the county what? The county beauty of Sacramento. Basically, we don't need permission to do anything. <laughs> Etiquette on the golf course is not to just roam around. Uh, okay, you get in people's way, you can get we're hit not by a ball. Way. Yeah, we're not, we're not even in anybody's way, I'm so confused. KJ is the exact equivalent of what an actual Karen is. KJ could have easily asked politely if he could record, and you know, he could have went back to hole one, and then gone to hole two, hole three, he could have actually followed the rules, and everything probably would have been fine. But to people like him, and actual Karens, uh, the rules don't apply, and whenever someone does hit them with the rules, all they want to do is argue. What? I'm not doing anything wrong. T t tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm, I'm literally not doing anything wrong. Why don't you just let, let me go do my thing? The entire time just bickering about the dumbest shit. KJ, I hate to break it to you, uh, but you are the Karen. So then they go back up to the shop where the guy very politely tells him that he was going to let them record, but he thought he was just going to like film him playing the holes in order as you're supposed to, but they were driving around being dumb because that's that that's what they be which then makes kj the victim because i mean i mean what, what were they doing wrong you know i mean i know that they've explained what they were doing wrong for the past 20 minutes but but i mean can you explain it a little better it's kind of hard for him to understand you know he's not he's not all with it i, I pointed out hole one was on the east side of the you have to play them in order you have to play them in order yeah, yeah. no maybe you're not familiar with the etiquette of golf but it's yeah. I'm, well i am wearing gucci sandals too so I didn't think, I, I genuinely didn't think people were going to be able to tell me what to do wearing Gucci sandals. Now this part I love. You don't have permission from the general manager or the county. Who do I need permission from though? The general manager or the county. At that point, why would you keep that in? Like you're just showing how dumb you are, that you're just talking just for the sake of talking. She just told you what to do and then you asked her the same question that she just answered. You look dumb. So you'll have to come back on Monday and check with Marcus. With DeMarcus? With Marcus. Marquess? Marcus. Oh. M-A-R-C-U-S. Oh. Okay, I'm waiting for the punchline. 
Excuse me, sir. They're really angry here. They're really angry. I just got kicked out. It's still the best thing ever that anytime anything happens to him, he has to go to everybody around and tell them what happened. You got kicked out. Whoopee. Great job. Better luck next time. And then that's pretty much the end of the video. There's nothing much else to it. Just him being stupid and not funny. Now, you might thought that was good. <laughs> but guys, let me ask you something. Have you ever drank at a job interview? I know, I know. It's a fucking crazy concept to hear. I know. When I saw the title, I was like, what, KJ, you did that? You you fucking drank at a at a job interview? You did that. Some baller shit. Before he goes to the job interview, he decides to buy some stuff to make it look like he's uh shit. He's sipping lean. I know. But anyway, let's see how the McDonald's worker reacts to it. <laughs> Cause I'm sure it's probably hilarious. Okay, so who do you know that work here? Uh I think his name was Quandavius Dinkelmeister. <laughs> Dinkelmeister. <laughs> Fucking Dinkelmeister. What KJ, such a silly goose, man. Such a goddamn silly goose. Okay, I don't even know why I decided to watch that video. That was 10 minutes I'm not gonna get back from my life and nothing happened. That was the most boring video. How does this guy have 100K? Also, not too long ago, he hosted a boxing match, which comes with a knockout. But I watched the entire video and there was no knockout. It was actually kind of, it's kind of a, a disappointing video. <laughs> But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys had a grand old time with me. I hope you just had a had a damn blast. And I'll see you guys in the next episode when I decide to sing happy birthday at a dead cat's funeral. Bye.